Uh, Ed, this is my wife, Amy. Good evening, Marilyn. Good evening, Mr. Merrill. Good evening, Good evening Marilyn. How do you do, Mr. Merrill? Uh, Marilyn, uh, I was asking Milton what you thought of that look cover that he did of you. I liked it very yeah. much. Uh, although I like most of Milton's pictures. Uh-huh. Well, now, uh, your picture has been on the cover of uh, almost all popular magazines, hasn't it? No, not the Ladies' Home Journal. <laughs> that you would like, would you? Yes. Why? <clears throat> well, I used to long for it. I used to appear on, when I was modeling, on uh, men's magazine covers, mm -hmm. such as, uh, I don't know, Squint, Peep, Take a Peep, all those things. <laughs> <laughs> but, but not the ladies' home journal? No. Marilyn, tell me, how did you three meet? Well... I <laughs> met in California. <laughs> I really met Milton first. I was working on a set in Hollywood, and uh, one of the look writers came over to the set one day and asked me um, if I'd like to look at some pictures in a portfolio, and I said, yes, I'd like to. And I saw the most beautiful pictures I'd ever seen. And I said, I'd like for this photographer to photograph me. <coughs> and he says, well, here he is. And I turned and looked, and I said, but he's just a boy. <laughs> And um, what did you have to say to that, Milton? Well, he's just the girl. Comedian. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Amy, that looks like a large dining room and kitchen. Uh, are you the cook? No, I'm not. We have a wonderful girl by the name of Sadie Ingram. She's not with us tonight. But uh, we're very proud of this kitchen, Ed. Milton built the table. With the help of Kurt. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Amy, tell me, does Marilyn know her way around the kitchen? Is she uh, very much help around the house? Well, yes, she is. She's sort of a, an ideal guest. She's not trouble to anyone, and she picks up after herself, and uh, she's just fine. You don't even know she's around. Does she make her own bed? Yes, she does, and she helps me with the baby to bathe him. And cleans her own room? Yes, she does. Uh-huh. Has she ever come in handy as a babysitter? Well, that's <laughs> it. Quite a number of occasions. Yes, Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Milton, about uh, this matter of Monroe Productions. Yes. Have you and the president of the company had any offers yet? Excuse yes. me, why don't we go into a more comfortable room? Mm -hmm. All right. Where, where are we going now, Amy? Uh, this is our den. Uh-huh. With the books and the television set and a nice warm fire. It's chilly tonight. Mm. Well, Milton, I was asking you just before you moved about uh, Monroe production. Yes. Uh, have uh, you and the president had any offers yet? Oop, there's telephone ads. That's another offer. <laughs> 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 yes, we've had quite a few ads. Uh, we had some for TV and the theater uh, in Europe and here. Um, movies, books, um, real estate. <laughs> <laughs> but you haven't decided uh, on any one yet, is that it? No, we've uh, got a few things in mind, but nothing definite as yet. Uh, Marilyn, tell me, what's the basic reason for this corporation? Primarily to contribute to help making good pictures. Well, would it be fair to say that uh, you got rather tired of playing the same kind of roles all the time and, and wanted to try something different? Well, I, it, it's not that I object to doing musicals or comedies. In fact, I rather enjoy it. But I would like to do also dramatic parts, too. Mm -hmm. uh, Amy, are you in the corporation, too? Uh, no, I'm not. I sort of take care of uh, Milton, <laughs> who's very important, and Josh, mm -hmm. and that's Marilyn. E that's even more important, isn't it, Josh? Yes. Marilyn. He's down to sleep, by the way. Uh -huh. uh, Marilyn, what's the best part you ever had in a movie? Well, one of the best parts I've ever had was in the asphalt jungle, John Huston's picture, and then Seven-year-itch, well, Billy Wilder's picture. 
You think that's going to be a big one, too, don't you? Pardon? You think that's going to be a big one, too, don't you, the seven-year-old? Yes, I, I think it will be a very good picture, and I would like to continue making this type of picture. Well, now, uh, what, what's the smallest part you ever had? Um, two I can think of. One in a picture called Ticket to Tomahawk. Yeah. I had one word. Well, not exactly a word. I said, mmm. <laughs> and then, uh... It's got a hoose, got a head. It's got a hoose, got a head. Was that all you had to say? No. <laughs> in, no. In, in a picture called It's got a hoose, got a head, I had one word to say. I said, hello. But it went fast. In fact, they cut it out. <laughs> uh... Who's helped you most in your movie career, Marilyn? Well, a number, number of people have contributed greatly. Um, I think when John Houston wanted me for the part in Asphalt Jungle, and I think when Billy Wilder wanted me for the part in Seven Year Itch, I think that was very important. And also, Working with my coach, Natasha Lightez. She's helped me very much from the very beginning. And I also got a great deal from attending classes with Michael Chekhov. Mm -hmm. I noticed you mentioned two directors. Have you found Houston and Wilder important to you? Yes, very much so. Well, Marilyn, now that. Uh, uh, how, how do you mean important? I mean, uh, do you play a part in order to uh, impress them or please them? Definitely. I think when you have a, a very good director, uh, of course you... In fact, I think the story is very important. But even personally, more important to me than the story is the director. Because the director usually has a good story. A good director usually has a good story. Um, a director, I think, can contribute a lot because when you feel that when you're acting and the director is with you and not just sitting by as, um, just as the audience, yes. but he's really with you every moment, everything you do, I think it's very important. It has been to me. Well, Marilyn, now that you're a New Yorker, uh, how do you like this city anyway? Oh, I love it. Everyone's very friendly, and it's a very optimistic, friendly yeah. city. <laughs> How do you like Connecticut? I like it. It's the first time I've, I've ever seen the woods. And I love to walk in the woods with the dogs, and I enjoy it. <laughs> Where are the dogs? Well, are, are you always recognized wherever you go in, in the nearby towns and in New York? No. Not really. Um, I can put on a no polo coat and no makeup and get along pretty well. Is that, is that right, Melton? What's that? Is that right, that she can go about without being recognized? Well, sometimes it seems that way. <laughs> Other times, uh... Oh, the funny thing was, remember that day in the taxi oh, yes, cab? Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, it was when she came to oh. uh, do the window scenes for the seven-year itch. Yes. And we were depositing her back at her hotel, and there were about five million people outside. And the taxi cab driver turned around to the three of us, Marilyn in the middle, and said, hey, you know who's in there? Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> <laughs> Marilyn, I saw some pictures of you the other day uh, riding an elephant at the circus. Did you have fun? Oh, I loved it. It was wonderful. It was a pink elephant. Uh huh. Uh, did you have any practice before you rode it? No, I hadn't, but I enjoyed it very much. I became quite fond of the elephant. He was very nice. <laughs> <laughs> and the people were wonderful. All the crowds and everything. Um, Especially I the ones way up in the back. Yes, that's right. I was telling Amy before about the people up in the balcony, way up in the far, far balcony. They were especially friendly. But uh, I think it meant a lot because, probably because I hadn't been to a circus as a kid. Mm -hmm. And I like circuses. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all do. Thank you very much, Milton, Amy, and Marilyn, for letting us come and visit you in uh, 
You're home in Connecticut this evening. Good night, Mr. Good night. Good night.